me sure I was thinking this was the way to go And you put up your puppet show I say cheers to life No, I'll be no good man Just leave me alone Good evening and welcome again to our Friday Night Hangout. I am looking forward to news and merch tonight. We've got a lot to cover. A lot of merch, a lot of news, a little bit of food. It's going to be a good night. My friends are all going to be here. We're going to talk a lot about uh, the disability. That's a big topic. We're going to talk about that tonight. we got some new stuff going over in France. I'm excited to talk about that. And uh, just welcome a lot of friends in for Friday Night Disney News and Merch. Glad you guys are here. Let's get this opening kicked off and knocked out. And get our friends in here and have some fun. Partner Channels, I'm glad to have them supporting me and working together for a better community and growing all of our channels. If you know any of these channels, you're lucky. If you don't, you need to find out about them. You can find out on the front of my YouTube channel. Click over, click the button, check out their channels. They are amazing people. Chaotic Crusaders, people that support the channel in more ways than you guys could understand. Doing different stuff to support. We're grateful to all of them. i got to change Sean Urban's logo there. Just realize that's an old one for him. But you can check out, again, all of our Crusaders on the front of my YouTube channel. Business Crusaders, Park Hopper Choppers, Main Street Treat, uh, JSA Creations, and Susan Silva. You'll hear me talk about them throughout the show and supporting this channel uh, and doing different things to make this community better. And we're grateful to all of them. Executive Producers couldn't do this channel without my producers that helped me bring the value of this channel to a whole new level. Grateful to them for their support, their content, their help. Again, follow the executive producers, check out their content, give them some love, guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. We're working hard over on Facebook. We've got a page, we've got a group. If you're a content creator, you can go over to our group and post your content over there. All of that is welcome. We're creating over on TikTok and Instagram, trying to stay as relevant as we can. We just actually hit 1,500 followers on Instagram today. I was pretty excited about that. Our Discord is doing well with 250 plus people talking Disney, talking Star Wars, Marvel, talking everything going on in our world over on the Discord, including sports. Check out the Discord. It is free of charge. We do have membership available on the channel, four different tiers available for you with different perks and promotions. Uh, if you do one of the higher tier levels, we'll get you out the minted Disney coins that we have for our channel. Our membership is brought to you each week by Ajana Claire Zoel's World and her amazing travel company. Check her out, everybody. Ajana Claire Wise Travel is an upscale travel design and consulting firm specializing in curating ultra-luxurious travel destinations designed specially for business professionals. Focusing to deliver the once-in-a-lifetime experience that will create lasting memories. Encompassing adventures in Europe or the Americas, luxurious river cruises, relaxing beach getaways, or detailed trips to Disney locations worldwide. A Jean Claire Wise Travel personalizes the experience. What rich and exciting moments do you want to create for yourself this year? We'll start writing your story with a Jean Claire Wise Travel today. Hey, we've got a P.O. box. If you'd like to send us something over, Preston loves to open it. We got some new gifts this morning, which are great for the 
upcoming August event. Always happy about that. Park Hopper Choppers, they should be your company of choice for mobility within the parks. Central Florida's best mobility company covering all the parks down along the Orlando area. Anything mobility-wise, Park Hopper Choppers can help you. Check them out at that phone number or at parkhopperchoppers.com. The ladies of YouTube do a great job. If you see any logos up here on the channel, it means they're crushing it. Go over and check out their channels. Ask about them. If you don't know who they are, shoot me a note, DM or email. I'll be glad to talk to you about them. And uh, appreciate the support from Cindy. Hi there, my name is Allie from Cinder Alley Loves Disney. On my channel, I share Disney pins, items from my collection. I do unboxings, movie reviews, Disney park vlogs, and more. We have so much fun. Be sure and stop by and say hi. Let me know you heard about me from the Pete McDivitt Show. And as always, make it a Disney day. All right, I'm excited. We got through the opening and we're ready to go here. We got a lot of friends in the chat already. With that, in order to recognize the friends in the chat, I need to bring in my friends. So joining me on uh, the dais are uh, three of my four friends. My fourth will be in here very shortly. I've got the ladies here with me early. I'm the one that's lucky. Uh, so welcome in, ladies. Miss Minter, nice to see you. Good to be here. Good to be here. Glad to see you. It's you're been packing. a long week. You'll be packing soon and moving the heck out of Dodge and doing all that stuff. The mm -hmm. cat will be driving the car. You'll be back in the back holding all the stuff. It's going to be a great move. I can't wait to hear all about it. I know you're excited for that. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah, I'm the so taxi, excited to be done. Tax season's almost done too. So your life's about to get a little bit more softer on there. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tina, Tina doesn't have any cats. She doesn't pay taxes, but she's here with us nonetheless. Hello, Tina. <laughs> when I pay taxes, I'm sitting here agreeing with you. Like, yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I don't even know what you asked, but I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We're doing very well. Good to see you. And uh, Jen, you'll also be happy when tax season calms down. Good to see you tonight. Hello. Good I'm waiting you. for Chris to show up. Uh, that'll be in because a few I have. Okay, I'm holding a, a Woody in my hand that I know he's been wanting to see, so I can't wait to show him the Woody that's in my hand. I'm not sure if I should be excited or scared. Probably I scared. I think I'm both. I think I'm both. Honestly. So, okay. Well, good to see you. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff to talk about tonight. And uh, first, let's do the normal. Let's go and say hello to the chat because without the chat, we're just sitting here talking aimlessly amongst ourselves. I say that all the time. Uh, so let's get it going. Let me pull up Hercules because just because I like the song, it gives me a reason to listen to it. Uh, Janice Disney. Hello. I'm going to go up as far as it'll let me. Fred O'Malley. Hello. Monroe O'Malley's here and in the chat. Debbie Bernfeld. Hello. Good to see you. Stacy Rogers is in the house, everybody. Main Street Nick, hello. Good to see you. Debbie Thuner, welcome in. Anne Marie Dreyer, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, do, 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 do. Jill Watchbrick, good evening. Thank you for joining tonight. Uh, Tomorrowland Traveler, good to see you. Triple T's been all over in here supporting lately. Jeff Condon, hello. Good to see you. He's working but listening. He is listening over our shoulder tonight. Make sure we don't screw it up. Tigger Jeff, Sean W., hello. Welcome in. Christy Nickman. Great to see you. Uh, da, 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 da. Movie Mania Nick is in the house and so far not in the green room yet, but maybe later. We'll see if he shows up in there. Uh, Angela Minter in the chat and here. Hello. Kelsey Elizabeth. Hello. Welcome in. Great to see you. Uh, I do love this song. Uh, do, 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 do. 
drop down, drop down. Shelby J, hello. Nick D'Ambrosio, hello. Marguerite Nagy, welcome in. Genie525, hello, hello. Good to see you all. Theme Park Casual, hey, Danny. Danny was kind enough to give me some short content that I put out today. He's doing great out in his channel out in California, Theme Park Casual. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, da, 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 da. I know, Miss. Hang in with Mark's mom. She'll be on the show coming up, ladies. Oh, not too Hi, long. Mom. Couple weeks. Uh, that's great. I, I've got the triple C. I got I got a th three fifths of the triple C right here. That's something. That's a night. We got a party. Jennifer Caruso. Hello. Good to see you. She was just an amazing guest. Speaking of triple C. Good to see her. Spark Pink Diamonds is in the house. Uh, Space Mountain Dave is in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome in. Where I uh, love the song. Uh, Disneyland, Disneyland fan for life. Hello, Aaron. Cat driving, you love that. It, well, her cats can drive. They can do a lot of stuff. Um, do do do. If I miss you, please continue to chat, and we will add, we will make sure that we say hello to you. Like Julie McCowan, hello. Slim Devon's Adventures. Welcome to the clubhouse. Now a member of the channel. Thank you very much for doing membership. I appreciate that. Casey's core of the world. Great to see you, Pino Pete. Hello, Pino Pete. Good to see you. Thank you, Slim. I appreciate that. Okay, I, th I think we've got everybody. If we missed you along the way, I apologize. This thing does jump all over God's creation. She says, how's my gorgeous women with peach sandwich in there? I'm just a monkey in this beautiful <laughs> set of roses. That's that's all I am. I don't mind being that. Uh, great to see you guys here today. I'm excited. We've got a lot of good stuff to go over and talk about. A ton of news to talk about. A uh, bunch of congratulations. Jen, actually, we just had one pop up here, and I'm not going to I don't want to, I want to forget about it for later. A uh, channel that we, you and I have been watching, Traveling Around Disney. Mm -hmm. They just had an accomplishment. What happened with those guys? They hit 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm, I'm so happy for them. Nice. We will make They're sure. They're really making a push. They have a brand new um, group on Facebook. Oh, That okay. they've put together. And now they hit 7,000 on YouTube. And I couldn't be happier. They have some great content. I really enjoy watching them. Could one of the mods grab, if you can, at least their YouTube channel? It's called Traveling Around Disney. Traveling Around Disney. Pull their YouTube for me. Drop that link in there for Todd for and his wife. And if somebody can grab it on Facebook, Traveling Around Disney family, we'll drop both in for him tonight because that's what we do. We take care of other people here. Alex Miller, hello. Good to see you. Welcome in. Uh, speaking about that, we've you guys have been seeing me push the, the, the California channels a lot. And I'm sure a lot of them will be in tonight. We're going to continue to do that tonight. One of them is in here right now with us. I mentioned Danny uh, with Theme Park Casual. Go out and check him out, guys. And as more of our California friends come in, I'll acknowledge them. I'm really trying to bridge this gap. Uh, there's Angela, there's so much good content out there in Disneyland that we don't know well, about. And I'm trying to bring that to everybody's attention. Yeah, and it's really good to kind of get <clears throat> some of the uh, more Disneyland people in and mm -hmm. uh especially on some of the disney world stuff so i've been seeing some of them coming in to uh some of the uh world streams awesome and i'm excited about to that. see some stuff about world it's been slim, good slim david says theme park casual is amazing they are danny is amazing all those guys out there do it and uh the ladies who are right here with me the triple c's are very focused on trying to uh also get some of the california friends onto the triple c uh, show so that'll be something working on in the future there so pretty excited uh, about that uh, we're also going to talk about some streams that we have coming up uh, Tina there's a lot of good things coming up on the channel between the triple C interviews and Jen is uh, Jen and the interviews Jen and I are going to be doing we're going to be talking about a lot of that, that tonight I know you're excited about a bunch of them I'm super excited the month of April is going to be bussin as the yeah. kids say bussin as the kids say well that's that's a good thing so uh, Margaret and I, I don't know if I said hello to you, but I am now just making sure. Uh, so, and, uh, hang with Mark's mom says, Jen, your hairstyle looks great. Katie, why? Hello. So welcome cute. in. There you go. Love it. Love all the love in the chat. <laughs> love all the love in the chat. Uh, so we got a lot of news and all to cover. Um, I'm going to hold off a little bit and talk about the stuff going on in the community in just a little bit, uh, because we are excited about a lot of that. And we'll just start, let's start with some news. Let's start with some news and jump over into here. Um, and again, Chris will be in in just a little bit. Uh, so when he gets here, he'll jump into the mix and uh, we'll bring him up to par real quick. So, ladies, the I'm Star glad Wars. We're starting this. 
What's I'm kind of glad we're starting this before he gets in here. Yeah, because you don't want him <laughs> yeah. spending any money. Well, he's already like trying to get me on guard to make sure he doesn't buy this. Ah, okay. Well, yes, I, I do believe he was talking a lot about this. So, uh, so I promise I won't talk about it when he comes in. Uh, the Star Wars Phantom Menace celebrates 25th anniversary and new merch and collectibles. This is kind of exciting for what they have going. So let's uh, talk about this. Jen, you want to take the chat tonight and keep us up to date on chat? Okay, yeah, cool. sure. That'll be great. All right, so this, this uh, lightsaber is coming out with this limited edition legacy lightsaber hilt set, uh, which is the Darth Maul set. That does look really cool. i got to be honest. I think if Preston came to me and tried to talk me into that, I could be talked into that. So, uh, Angela, since he doesn't, he wants you to hold back, what do you think about that? New lightsaber like that. That's gonna, I think that'll sell. I think it's... I think it's really cool. I also think it's going to be, it, it'll be interesting to see how quick it goes. I think this one will go pretty quick. Pinky says that's a huge saber. I don't know. It is a huge saber. I know. That it's would take a while to polish. I, I like the fact that, I like the fact that you can either have it separated or together too. So you're telling me you could have two of these at one same time? So it's a two for one? Kind of, Ooh, yeah, it's almost like a twofer. <laughs> like, like, like twins. Like twins. I like how we brought Tina's. Tina was lost over there in the other <laughs> other mm -hmm. building. All of a sudden, somebody yelled twofer, and she's right back here. Hello. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> James Gerhardt, welcome in. Thank you for joining tonight. Uh, Stacey Rogers says it's got to be at least 18 inches. That might have more girth than 18 inches total. Yeah. So. I'm thinking. Well, inches yeah. is inches is different than girth. Remember, uh, inches is length. I think it's, I think girth this has is both. Different. Look at look at the head on that thing. It's got both. Uh -huh. Look at the head on that thing. That's, has that's a got, nice tip. That just the tip when you least expect it. So yep. there you go. That looks nice. So what uh, happens? Does something come out of out of the end? Is that what happens? Things come uh, out of each gonna, end of that. It's going to be a, an eruption, kind of like you get at Gideon's. It's a oozy eruption. And it comes out bright red. Makes a fun sound. Ew. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was, that was his thing. Darth Maul was red. He's no, not he was a, red. He's not going to have a lighter light. Yes, it's not. Yeah. Curtis family says yeah. Molly's, Molly's hair looks good. Oh, That's, thank you. It nice, does. More nice compliments. Thank Jen, you. Jen got her hair cut last week. It looks great. A lot of nice compliments tonight already. Thank you guys for recognizing that. Uh, so let's talk about this, uh, Tina. I know you like to build things. You can, there's going to be a force is strong with these del uh, delve deeper into the Star Wars universe audiobook releases and also the Legos that are going to be coming out. So uh, a little bit more of everything for this Phantom Menace celebration. Yeah, I think so. That Lego looks really cute. I like to put that together and then Oops. lose all the pieces and um, throw it away in the end. So yeah. or, or your dog swallows it and you have to wait two weeks for it to come out. That happens too. Kids too. The kids swallow it. That's something. That's, <laughs> uh, Jen, I don't have dogs. Well, I have kids. Me. How's the chat doing so far over there? Um. Yeah. People are telling me my hair looks good, so we could just keep talking about that. <laughs> Wait, just no, keep, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so much for the news. Let's let's go into right there. Well, how about this, Jen? Maybe you'd be into this. Would you channel your inner Sith for a? lounge fly that's uh recognizing phantom menace you know that is a very cool lounge fly it looks very cool i i think that a star wars fan would really love that i'm not that much into star wars so i can't say i would buy that but i think it is very cool looking very nice very nice i like so, it yeah. i like it jen what do you think or uh, angel what do you think of that i think that's uh pretty interesting how they how they did that um I'm I'm not so much dark side, so you know I wouldn't get the bag myself. But okay, you know I th I think those who actually do channel their inner Sith lords would like would like this, yeah. Then I guarantee you, Tina likes it. Tina, what do you think of this? I actually don't like it wow. for some reason. It it reminds me of like walk like an Egyptian. And not that I don't like that song, because I do, but it just, 
it doesn't for me it doesn't scream Star Wars. It screams like you know who sings that song, Tina? Uh, the Bengals. Oh, okay, all right. Hmm. I asked the wrong person on that one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how Disney uh, built uh -huh. America. This is really cool, guys. I'd be curious to hear what you think. Mm -hmm. This is a brand new show that's going to be on the History Channel starting the 28th of this month. Uh, so 16 days away from now. Uh, and this is going to be nostalgic thrill ride. All of everything talking about how Disney started, the visionary, the merchandising, everything evolved around Disney and how it has influenced all of America. I'm a big history buff, Jen. I think this will be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I like these kind of shows, these kind of documentaries. So when I saw this advertised, I was like, oh, yeah, sign me up. Really, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that. Tina, what do you think? Yeah, I like anything like this. I think it's, you know, it almost takes you back to, you know, with the way they used to do like the, the world of Disney and stuff. And I don't know, I just miss stuff like this. Love it, love it, love it. Angela, what do you think? You into that history part of it? Oh, yeah, I love watching stuff like this, so I'm, I'm totally going to try to tune in. I think it's going to be cool. I love, I mean, History Channel mm -hmm. kicks in. It's we're due for another good one. Uh, and it's going to, you know, talk about a little bit of everything uh, as they do it, guys. The series features archival footage, dramatic recreation, insights from experts like Imagineer Bob Gurr, Gurr, hired by Walt Disney himself, that's why we need to get him on this channel, offers a unique perspective on the triumphs and challenges behind realizing Disney's extraordinary vision uh, and definitely, definitely cool. And, of course, also, the it premieres again on the History Channel, April 28th of 24. So if you uh, have one of those recorders where you do like I do uh, and you can DVR it, make sure you put it on there, get it, and watch it at your convenience. It'll be kind of cool. Uh, Angela, there's a new artist plate series by Will Gay, another guy we're trying to get on this channel that we're working mm -hmm. on uh, here. This one's out there. It's a four piece set uh, that you can get, and it's thirty nine ninety nine, and it is available at the Disney store. What do you think of these? Oh, I like this. Those, I those are really, really kind of cool. I love the speeder. So, yeah. That's what I was just looking at was this one with the speeder on it. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, April 28th, Disneyland fan for life, Aaron. April 28th, April 28th. Uh, I think these are neat. Tina, what do you think? You know, I think they're really cute. The blue plate really stands out, but it kind of looks like, like those grapes, grapes are pretty, grapes are pretty small and those look great. Yeah, they're small Anyways, plates. Like small <laughs> plates. Yeah, these yeah, are little like, dessert uh, plates. Yeah, dessert plates. That's a great call. Thank you, Jen. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what do you but think, Jen? Cute. You like these? So, here's my thought on plates. When you have a very cute plate like these, and then you put stuff on it, you can't see the plate because it's covered with your food. So, oh. I've never really been one to buy plates. I'll buy bowls okay. if they have a design on the outside. But for me to buy a plate like this, other than just having empty plates sitting on my table, I got enough stuff sitting on my table. <laughs> I don't need empty plates. Well, that's the whole. So that's just is. my own personal thing. But they're cute. Or like if you wanted to put them on one of those plate hangers that you hang on your wall, and then you put your plates in them, that might be cute too to to decorate with. So yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. Or mm -hmm. you know, it's a it's a goal to clean your plate so that you can see your. Thing. you know if you're a kid that's the whole goal i never have a problem cleaning my plate oh, i wish okay. i did well, there you go it is uh stacy's right that is a series by the way that is going to be a series on uh the, mm -hmm. the whole one we were just talking about just so everybody knows that'll be a weekly series mm -hmm. and i'm not sure how many episodes there are uh so set your your dvr for record the series so you can get it uh there's a, another better look at them there uh right there with uh, again 39.99 uh kind of i mean Ten dollars a plate, basically. I think they look like they're like kind of like a plastic. I would say, in a way, almost. So. See, uh, Debbie yeah. Bernfeld is um, saying kind of what I what I thought that Debbie says she would showcase the plates and not use them as a place to put food on. She basically wouldn't eat them. For, you wouldn't use them for eating. You would just display them. I think I I, I would agree with that. I would think picnic plates is what I think. Going out picnic. Mm -hmm. here. That's what I was thinking too. At the at the at the, mm -hmm. at the game you know, when I when the kids were playing when they were younger, going to the game and having something. 
quick that you could throw out there and would be a talking point. So but cool. Either way, I mean, either way, you can put them up or, or do that. All right. There is uh, some new merch out here. There's a new Walt Disney World baseball jersey available at Magic Kingdom. This is $69.99. Six, Tina, they didn't do that for you. Just let you know. $69.99. It's a Walt Disney baseball jersey found at the Magic Kingdom. Or you can get it on the Disney store. Tina, what do you think of this shirt? Well, I'm all about baseball jerseys lately. Mm -hmm. And it's Disney. So this is right up my alley. I like it. It's got uh it's got the Disney uh original older logo on the front there, the front um sleeve mm -hmm. pocket, and then of course on the sleeves itself it's got the castle. Angela, what do you think? Um, I like the design of it. I don't I'm kind of curious about the fabric though. It looks like just a regular like t shirt type yes. material though. Yeah, it's a soft. So I don't know how I feel about that part of it. Yeah, it's got the debossed D into it, Jen, with the Mickey icon. What do you think mm -hmm. of this one? Yeah, I th I think it's pretty cool. Um, if I had to be critical about it, I would say the back maybe could have used something more or something different. Maybe the words stacked on top of each other instead of going across. I think I would have liked, or maybe put across like the name on the back of a jersey or something. Oh. If if I had to be critical, but I mean, it's it's. It's Saturday pretty cool. And, and I kind of like the lightweight material because sometimes those actual jerseys are just way too heavy. And then if you're wearing like a shirt underneath it, then you're wearing two shirts and it's 90 degrees outside. So, yeah, That's you know, a maybe a, a lighter weight fabric might work on those hotter days. That's a good call. So I'm not good totally call. against that. I like mm -hmm. it. Good call out. Okay. All right, uh, there's a new Orange Bird sippy drink available. The new tumbler, as I call, I call. I love telling Chris there's sippy drinks available, uh, so that way he can give it to Steve, so he won't spill things all over Chris's, you know, whole contraption there. Uh, but the new Orange Bird tumbler is out. This one's twenty nine ninety nine. It was found at the Magic Kingdom uh, most recently. Angel, what do you think? Spread the sunshine, not shade. We do like a good tumbler, and this one's really cute. And it's, I think it's priced very well, too. Um, this is probably one I might look into maybe picking up. Oh, okay. twenty nine ninety nine. Tina, what do you think? Mm -hmm. I like the colors, yeah. I really like this. The only thing is, it doesn't seem like it has enough girth. And I like girth in my tumblers, <laughs> water bottles, thermoses, whatever. I like the girth. So, But I like your, it. You, you can get your hand around this one. I could. I could get my hand on this one. But sometimes it's just like two hands, you know, just extra wow. okay. measure. Jen, you want to weigh in on the two-handed tumblers? Um, I mean, I have this tumbler, and I really only use one hand. You see how this one kind of just mm -hmm. fits right there. Perfectly. One hand. Right. Um, it's almost like made for my hand to grab it. Um, so that one, I, I, I don't know. I mean, they got a cool I think if I was going there. to, if I was going to invest in a tumbler, I want one of those tumblers that like keep old for like 24 hours, you know, like, will yeah. this do that? I don't know, but those Yeti ones are incredible. They, they can, I think they can do. Yeah. Like I think I've never really been someone who's been very particular about having a Disney tumbler or a Disney mug. I just want something that's large enough to hold all of my coffee, Disney or not. And, and for my drinks, when I go to baseball games, they need to be able to stay cold for okay. hours. So uh, is uh, anything going on in the chat there? I see Hatbox Ghost and Izzo joined us. Yeah, we got a lot of people saying hello to everybody. Um, you know, this is the place to be on a Friday night. I love it. I, I um, love it. Debbie Bernfeld says she always uses two hands on her tumblers because her hands are too small. Uh, so yeah. there is that fact. So I, ha I have heard about that. So that's good. Got to do what you got to do. Uh, there's new signs over at Tiana's Bayou Adventure in Magic Kingdom. Tina, the, this one turns neighbors into fine friends. Uh, this is one of their signs that they had had up there. We've also seen, uh, you know, uh, different ones that are highlighting, trying to get a little bit more excitement going over there by the bayou. Uh, we're getting closer, getting closer, but uh, good to see that they're, they keep teasing a little bit more as we go along. Yeah, I think it's a good thing to keep kind of the excitement going. Um, definitely the posters are, no, the 
the the non black and white poster I feel like looks more like a maybe a, maybe that's what they were going for a supermarket poster. I was hoping for more of like where's that movie based in like the twenties like more of like a twenties feel if mm-hmm. su- keep it supermarket poster but make it a little bit more retro I feel like but overall yeah keep the excitement going so yeah. Good. Uh, Angela, I like the fact that they went black and white here because it definitely draws your attention to wait a minute. What's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like the kind of retro look to that. So it makes it look like a big like news story. Old time like news mm-hmm. blurb yep. coming out. So that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And they, they're working on trying to tell the backstory of everything as they do that, Jen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, everybody is seeming to be excited about this me not so much but yeah. okay we're gonna they're gonna try to convert you as disney's goal that's, that's and i want i want to say um hi and bye to mark langenkamp oh in the chat we'll be seeing some of uh mark langenkamp coming up yes we will coming up on the triple c's mark make sure check out your email i sent you an email the other day i'm not sure if you got it or not if you didn't please let me know please let me know uh so this is pretty cool all right, um, this is good. Uh, new limited time flavors have dropped at Chicken Guy in Disney Springs. I got to go to Chicken Guy last fall when I was down there and, and enjoy it for the first time. I, I really do like, I like Guy Fieri. I'm a big fan of the Food Network and the things that he does, and uh, his Chicken Guy is pretty good. Jen, how about starting this one up? Uh, this is the Bacon Jalapeno Pepper Sandwich. Uh, it's set to fire up your taste buds uh, in the best way possible, of course. Crispy, juicy chicken tenders uh, with nestled between toasted bread. I love when things are nestled. And then smothered in melty cheese, crunchy bacon bits, and fiery jalapeno goodness. What do you think of that? It's all about the sauce. (laughs) Okay. There you have it. It's all about the sauce. I'm not not a, a jalapeno loving person so this particularly i would do it without jalapenos but look at the dripping goodness okay i just want to look that up there you uh aaron have a good night thanks for being in here uh stacy likes when things are smothered yes angela Mm -hmm. what do you think yes or no are you on this one or no i would drop the jalapeno but yeah yeah oh for for two on jalapenos okay interesting Mm -hmm. I would devour that thing. <laughs> Good for you. That's what I like to hear. That's what lick I like to hear. Lick your fingers clean. Lick your fingers clean. Lick my lick everything clean because that would well, be all over me. Speaking, oh, speaking, of getting th- speaking of getting things all over you, there's whipped cream in this uh, amazing berry bomb shake that you could uh, satisfy your sweet tooth. It's a dreamy crea- creation that's oozing with goodness. It's an oozing explosion. Of berryliciousness flavors. What do you think, Tina? I'm sorry. What I was daydreaming, um, <laughs> fantasizing. Same thing. That yeah, that looks really good. I I would lap that up. No problem. Good, Angela. Yes, please. Yes, mm-hmm. please. Right on there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jen. Strawberries, and whipped cream. Oh yes, please. I love everything about it. And it's, can you also uh, check your text? Thank you. I did. Me? Okay. You. There's nothing there. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Never mind. Okay. But this looks delicious because I love everything strawberry. Well, anything and everything strawberry. Like when I go to Dairy Queen, that's what I get. Strawberry something. This is definitely. Oh. That's what happens when you have strawberries and whipped cream. Chris magically appears when we say strawberries and whipped cream. Apparently that's that's what uh, happens. Like this is what happens. What, what are we looking at? Oh. Hold on, hold on. I gotta bring him in over here because my computer wasn't ready for that. Where'd he go? He left. <laughs> He's just toying with our emotions. He left. Man. 
All right. Well, let me go. I mean, let me see if I think it was the. I think it was the other camera, not the camera he intended. All right. Well, let me let me go. Let me go back over here for a second. Let me let me see if I put in. Let me see if I say. So let me see if this works again. See if he comes in because of hearing about whipped cream and strawberries. So we have a berry bomb shake that is filled with <laughs> strawberries and whipped cream and everything all over the place. It's a dreamy creation. Let's see if that Do works. we know if it's strawberries or is it all berries? Because Stacy's asking if there are raspberries in it. It did not say. It Does just it said say? berry bomb is all it said. So. Okay. Poppy, welcome Blue in. Poppy. Blueberries. Poppy, Poppy, good to see you. So, welcome in. All right. Well, we'll keep. I, th I thought that you know, if I said the word strawberries, whipped cream all over someone's body, that that that, oh, uh, that it did work. See, it is like it is. It worked. There he is. With this smell, what the rock is cooking. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> Chris, there's whipped cream and strawberries all over somebody's body. Oh, I'm here for that. That's what I thought, Fro. So, okay. Hey, Snickerdoodle. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in. Good to see you, here, Chris. We're uh, we're just we're on yeah. the early part of the news. Everybody, we're having some fun uh, talking about this berry deliciousness here. Uh, let's go over here. Perfect timing for Chris to come in. Assemble the Marvel Universe. Coca-Cola is getting involved with the Heroes uh, edition coming up here. The limited edition campaign brings the Marvel Universe to life with a brand new TV commercial and innovative consumer experience. Look for the exclusive limited edition Coca-Cola packaging featuring uh, striking illustrations of 38 iconic, 38 cans you got to get. That's a lot. 38 to get the whole, whole set. Steve will be running to every... Uh, every type of Publix there is all over Florida to get the heroes and villains. What do you think, Chris? You're just jumping in. What do you think of that? Uh, they would start doing this now that I can't drink Coca-Cola. So, yeah, I guess I'll have to buy a few of these. I, 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 mm -hmm. I don't know that I'm going to get all 38 because the current price of Coke would mean, mean buying 38 would, would require a small bank loan. Yes. Uh, but I'll try to get some of my favorite ones. It's a good one, sir. So, uh, Tina, what do you think? Marvel on there, Captain America and Deadpool leading the realm. I mean, why couldn't it be Pepsi? I'm a Pepsi girl. I can't do Coke. I mean, if Chris wants to drink the Coke and then I'll just keep the cans, I'll do that. What? I just said I can't drink the Coke. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I was still daydreaming. Um, if someone else wants to drink the Coke and I'll just keep the cans that Jason will drink the Coke. I'll just keep the, yeah, I like them. They're cute. Yay. Okay. <laughs> just a public service announcement. This is a Friday night news and merch show with where the dais actually pays attention to know what we're talking about. I was about to say, we, we, we drove all the way to Baltimore to, to get to California on that one. Yes, we Way did. Go. Uh, Angela, your thoughts before I go to Jen and hear what the chat has to say. I'm actually here for it. I, I actually like this. I'm a big Marvel fan. So, and seeing how I'm not distracted by, you know, still distracted by the whipped cream from the last, you know, yep. slide. Yeah. Tina's got her mind there. Jen, what's the, uh, what do you got? What's the chat thinking? Um, I wanted to bring up a point that Stacey Rogers mentioned that okay. they are on bottles also, not just cans. Oh, okay. Um, oh. Because she actually got Even Sam better. on a Coke Zero bottle yesterday. Wow. I bet you that would look good on the bottle. Nice. I bet you that mm -hmm. would look good on nice. the so. so I I think they're cute. I mean, I don't necessarily I wouldn't even open up the can, you know, like I just leave it sealed yeah. and just put it on a shelf. Um, There's I would do that, especially if I could get Iron Man because Iron Man's my favorite. I think. Well, cool. I mean, it's not. It's not. I thought Thor was your favorite. Well, Thor's the best looking, but Iron Man's my favorite movie. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Okay. Right, Stacy, Stacy, am I right? Wait, no. I need Stacy to help. Uh, Stacy said, 
when you're talking about Thor, you're talking about, you know, are you talking about him laying, you know, poolside, looking good, all glistened up? Is that what you're thinking about there with Thor? Now I am. <laughs> no. Oh. No. Yeah, that baby, not this is the way. Us. I can't oh. unsee things. I can't Did you get that today? Things. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for that for like 20, 30 minutes trying to find my in. So, oh boy. There you, you, go. you know, collecting <laughs> yes. those with, with the Coke still in there. I mean, it's no different than collecting these with the Coke still in them. So. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's very mm -hmm. true. That's very true. <laughs> uh, hanging with Mark's mom liked the comment. Now I am. <laughs> <That's not funny. laughs> like the comment. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's jump over to the other news section here. VIP, VI pass holder days are returning to Disney World this summer. That's coming up. Uh, this will mark the time frame of May 1st, which is coming up in not that long. Uh, and through June 26, exclusive perks for you annual pass holders can enjoy a limited edition magnet, a special pass holder lounge, extra discounts, and more going on at Epcot. Uh, it's going to be over, I believe, in uh, the Moroccan Pavilion, I think, is where that where that's going to be. I think we got a little thing on that a little bit later. So uh, it seems like they're trying to push a lot of pass holder stuff lately. Of course, as soon as I stopped being a pass holder for a little while, uh, all the things start happening. So uh, typical of what we're going to do. So Chris, what do you think of yeah. those pass holder sections and all that they're going to have there in the park for you to relax mm -hmm. and do things? If, if you're going to be in the parks, it's amazing. It's really cool. Um, the, the, the special magnets usually pretty cool. Um, and I think it's going to be over in Morocco or something this time. I think, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So. And, and Epcot. So any pass mm -hmm. holders that are going that have multiple passes in your family and you're going to have extra baggage, please keep us in mind here on our show. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm sure a bunch of us would love them. So, uh, Angela, you, were you a pass holder down there? No, I'm a pass holder. So I'm hopefully going to be down there during this time to actually take advantage of some of this stuff we'll see that'd be really great if you, if this you had, first it would be great if you had an instagram page where you could document that and share it out it's some place that you could put that up that would be i know awesome. too bad i don't have that oh yeah. wait yeah oh right. wait i do you do there you go there you go there's uh, the triple c there's a triple c instagram that, page that you can do it on Okay. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yes, Chris, go ahead. I need Angela Mentor to please read the chat. Angela Mentor, please read the chat. <laughs> That's all. You're not wrong, Chris. <laughs> You're not wrong. Good deal. Okay, Apparently, I have a thing for Chris's. <laughs> so, I'm here to. I'm not, I'm not I'm gonna here lie. to fill a need. <laughs> I'm here to fill a need. <laughs> no, That's the me. best line of the night. Oh my God. Livy Dead Fam, hello. Welcome in from out there. Brandon Wren, hello. Welcome in. Thank you for joining tonight. <laughs> well, Chris, uh, I'm going to go over to Tina with this one, and I know you'll want to jump in a little bit later on this one. Tina, cast to guest pin trading has returned. Another thing that was gone because of the. Uh, the COVID time frame is now back. You're now able to trade with cast members when you go down there. What do you think? Well, I didn't know it was gone because I didn't know it was gone. I thought my girls did this when we went in 2021. I guess not. They did something different. They must have done but something nice. different. It was something different. But this is really good. I like this. I love as much cast interaction as possible and if you're into pins and you like pin trading this is perfect for the pin the mm -hmm. pin lovers across the board <laughs> jen what do you think yeah i think this is really cool because i know the one thing um about them having just the boards the pin boards that they were doing the trading on like i didn't always know where the where to find a pin board right to trade with but now i know i could just go to any cast member and they're going to have their pins so yes definitely looking forward to this coming back Love it. Chris, pins are in your wheelhouse. What do you think? I'm so happy this is back. It's way past mm -hmm. time. And I will say this is what 
got my kids into painting when they were little uh, <laughs> was the interaction with the cast members in the park. It's such a good distraction for the little kids mm-hmm. when you're just walking around and it keeps them entertained. It keeps them focused. They would stop any cast member and ask them if they had pins to trade and all that and had some of the best interactions with cast members. I'm so glad this is back. It's it's great for not just little kids, but it's great for adults that love pin trading. And it's, it's... Little, ki- little kids and the bigger kids. Um uh... I agree, Chris, 100%. Real Steven TV, welcome in. Mandy Adams, welcome in. Angela, you do any pin training when you go? I have not gotten on to pin training, but I am excited that this is back. It may actually get me to maybe start actually starting to pin trade. Um, I actually didn't know about the pin trading stuff until the pandemic time Mm -hmm. anyway, which is when they kind of stopped doing a lot of that. Right. So... I'm just glad I that it's I might more actually of our, get into it and have some fun. That would be awesome. It's more of our world coming back to normal, which uh, I love that. Mm-hmm. Can I exactly. mention one other I'm, thing about I'm excited for it. Sure. Yes, Chris, go ahead. So uh, one other thing about the pin tray, if you don't know, if you're staying at a Walt Disney World resort, a lot of times you can go into, like each resort has their little store in there. Like Pop Century, All Star Sports have have a store. You can go in there and ask the the cast members that are working like the sales counter if they will pin trade with you. Several times, they will bring out a huge three-ring binder full of pins really? and let the kids flip through them and, and search for pins. So, wow. yeah, just oh, another inside cool. tip. Mm. Yeah. Well, there you go. More inside here. Thank you, Chris. That's great to know. I never knew that. Uh, welcome in, Space <laughs> Fears. Good to see you, John. Jason Thibodeau, hello. Uh, that's pretty cool. They would have a whole binder to bring out. God, they bring that out to Baker. They're in trouble. Uh, uh, let's talk about this. New orange and pink tie-dye Walt Disney World Spirit jerseys have been spotted in Hollywood Studios, everybody. Uh, the tie-dyes are out at $79.99 for this wrinkled uh, old kind of thing here. Uh, Jen, start with you. What do you think? Tie-dye, orange and purple. I think they look good together. Pink and purple and orange. It says pink, not purple. So There's let's clarify right there. that. I not Hashtag no purple. I see it. I I, I kind of like how the colors go together. I like the style of it. I would never buy it just because it's a spirit jersey, but um, it's not horrible. Okay, it needs it needs a good ironing. Doesn't That's need for a good sure. ironing. Doesn't need good. Tina. Good colors for Halloween. I think so. Um, but I don't like spirit jerseys, and so this doesn't really tickle my fancy. So. Mm-hmm. Two for two on no spirit jerseys. Angela, would you buy this one? I like spirit jerseys. I like the coloring. I hate the wrinkle look. Yeah. I don't get that. Mm-hmm. I don't know whether it's just whether that was on purpose or not. That's what I was wondering. Like, is that the way the fabric is or was it just wrinkled from being packaged and they just hung them like that? Like, I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah. Has anyone um, been to the park and seen the construction? Um, Yeah. Anyone in the chat? Can you confirm whether that's supposed to be like that? If you've seen it live, it's just wrinkled from being packaged, Jennifer says. Okay. That's okay. I couldn't really tell. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So, you know, that's probably whoever took the picture didn't try to find a decent one to take a picture of. Yep. Hey, at least they're getting prices now. I'm happy about that. Chris, what do you think? Um, I'm going to vote no on this spirit jersey because it has colors that remind me of the Clemson Tigers, and that goes against my mighty South Carolina Gamecocks. Go Cox. Got to be strong on the Cox. Absolutely. I get you there. Yeah. Stand up for the Cox. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Got to back the Cox. Yes. Um. And there's the giant one right there. Thank you for sharing. Um, this is pretty wild. I thought this was a little pricey. Maybe it's me. Uh, they spotted this Walt Disney World drawstring bag at Magic Kingdom. Uh, simple, basic Disney logo we've seen for years pretty much. $25, $24.99. Um, what this, according to this person, they said what caught their eye was the bag still features Br'er Rabbit. Uh, with the change to Splash Mountain to oh. Tiana's value. So it does have that. That is one thing that's out there. So 
Uh, Angela, how about starting out? What do you think of this one? Uh, I think that design's really cute on it, and for people who actually like the drawstring bags, would actually like that. It's, I, I do like the fact that they've got a lot of the classic characters in there. 25 too steep? Price is a little too steep, though. It wouldn't be worth the 25 bucks. Okay. Chris? That that is an old image that they've had for years and years, mm -hmm. and they've just put it on a new drawstring bag. Um, the fact that Briar Rabbit is still on it will make that sale, but twenty five bucks for a drawstring bag is no, no. You could probably get that at at Target or Costco for four ninety nine, five ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Yeah. So, I'll I'll go I'll I'll turn to my Sam's Club. Uh, supporter here and say $25 too steep for that bag I already know this answer but go ahead yeah I mean logically yes who wants to pay $25 for a drawstring bag but it's in line with Disney's prices you're not going to find it cheaper at Disney at the parks I know someone who would buy this bag my mom would buy this bag and she would use it oh okay well there's just an early, early Chris or early Christmas gift for Anita. If anybody's anybody's listening and wants to. Yeah, get but still, I mean, like twenty five dollars for what looks like a cheap drawstring bag. I mean, maybe yeah. if that was embroidered on there or something, or right. there was an extra pocket almost, or a little, yeah, or like something on the side to put a water bottle in if it had like a, a an additional feature to it. Something. No. Mm -mm. I could always get one similar to that from Walmart for cheaper. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're absolutely right. Yeah, Jill also Jill also wants to, uh, Chris to know uh, that she regarding your team, she would tell you that your fans, uh, she would tell your fans not to go half cocked. So mm. she just wanted to let you know. Wait, wait. Never mind. So keeping it out there. We, okay. We go full or we go home. Go full or you go home. Okay, absolutely. Uh, Tina, Disneyland After Dark Pride Night has been announced. The details for Pride Night have been out there. Disney is birthday with rainbows for June. Uh, Disney After Dark Pride Night returns. Uh, this ticketed event did very well last year. And uh, Birdwell, hello, did very well last year. And this is coming back. What are your thoughts on Pride Night coming back to Disneyland? I'm not surprised. There's a market for it. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to get a crowd. Um, even if you're, you're not, you know, LGBTQ, LMNOP, I can never get the, the letters right. Um, there, you have supporters out there regardless, mm -hmm. and you're going to get a crowd to come into this event. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, they, the Angela, they're going to have colorful festivities, immerse yourself in a joyful atmosphere filled with pride themed decor and photo opportunities, spectacular entertainment, enjoy a dazzling fireworks display. Exclusive uh, Pride merchandise, which apparently sold very well last year, according to reports that I read. And delectable treats. Savor the flavor. It's going to be busy out in California. Yes, it is. Uh, it looks like so much fun. And I would I would be there to help support it if I, you know, lived close to Disneyland. Because um, it... You know, it's just all, it just looks so fun. And I'm glad that they do this. I'm the glad way, they, they, the do way this. they color up Small World there is incredible. They've got Magic Key yes. uh, pre-holder pre sale. They've got a general public sale. Tickets are going on April 9th and April 11th. Jen, I know you're a big Small World fan, but look at that. That is lit up out there. Yeah, you know, as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking in, in, in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, who from our California friends will stream this? <laughs> I'm you sure know, so I'm, I'm hoping there, right? that there will be some of them. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping there'll be some of them out there that, um, cause I'm sure these pictures do not do it justice. So oh, yeah. yep. I'll I'm be sure. looking forward to some of those live streams. So. Yep. Absolutely. Chris, what do you think? Yep. I was muted. Sorry. That's cool. Yeah. I like, they, they always do really good. You got this picture up. So they always do really cool projections on small world. There, there's, Mm -hmm. Couple of night shows and all that they do, um, but that makes me want rainbow confetti. That that confetti looks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that confetti. Oh. Look at that. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. One down, Mike. You know, regardless uh-huh. of, of where you stand or what side on it, you have to respect it. it is something in our world. This is something that is respected, and Disney is stepping in uh, to honor and respect that as they do with everything. Uh, so hats off out there. And, I, again, I agree with Jen. I hope that they show that out there. Chris, I thought of you when I saw this. This display is made of Rice crispy cereal treats and chocolate. The spires of Batu can be seen in the background with the iconic Millennium Falcon in the front. Is that incredible or what? That's amazing. That That is really cool. Uh, the fact that it's made out of one of my favorite Disney snacks is even cooler. But um, now I want to make that, Pete. I'm going to make a Rice Krispie treat, and I'm going to make the Millennium Falcon now. <laughs> I hope I'd love to see you do that if you can pull it off. WW Explore, chill, welcome in. This is incredible. The worst part is yeah. if somebody goes up and takes a bite out of it uh, when it's on display and gets in trouble but destroys it. So I don't know. What do you think? Tina, what do you think? Rice Krispie and chocolate? Are you in? Um, Anything chocolate I'm in. I don't care if it's chocolate on a cardboard. I'm in. It's chocolate. <laughs> Okay. I love it. Angela, how about you? Are you licking cardboard? Um, I I actually really do like this. I don't know if I could eat it because it just it looks so awesome though. Mm-hmm. So That's Yeah, true. it does. The yeah. Art, the artistry yeah. that goes into that uh is mm-hmm. ridiculous, Jen. I mean it's kind of incredible. I can only imagine the amount of time it took for them to do all that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's food, but it's it's a piece of art, you know. It's just amazing to see how they are able to construct that. And again, I go back to it, it that it all ends up in a pig's pit at some point down the road. After I was about buses. to say, yeah. can can we stand there and admire it and ask them if we can have some of the leftovers? I'd be yeah. happy just watching the pig eat it right now. I mean, it's kind of you know, running or pig running around with a giant Millennium Falcon in its mouth. Oh, well, that'd be fun. I mean, that right there is a million million views short. Pig with the Millennium you Falcon. Could, you could record that and set it to like Star Wars music and oh. voices and yeah. at like the pigs, the rancor or something coming to get. Yeah, that would be oh, funny. Oh, God. <laughs> we could do something. Really, well, we got a whole production going. So we got right, yeah. to get down there to get the pig. So, all right. Uh, Cinderella's <laughs> mice. You don't see the mice out very often. Well, they've been seen spotted uh perla and Susie are visiting guests in hollywood studios guys i just want to let you know if you're going to be down there you can keep your anybody else will be down there keep your eyes open for that uh stacy says they should make a rice crispy cereal and chocolate treats that looks like porks oh there you go stacy wants to cross merchandise so good for stacy so pearl and Susie are, are out and about uh this is your first look at tiana mirabelle and more coming to 1900 park fair Tiana, Aladdin, Mirabelle, and Cinderella, all these characters and more will be down there to celebrate the power of a wish at 1900 Park Fair. They're dining. Jen, start us off with this. What do you think? Cinderella, Tiana, what do you got? Yeah, I mean, oh, it is so awesome to see more princesses in dining locations. You know, it's very limited now where you can see them, but it's, yeah, I'm all for this. All for this and i've seen a lot of vlogs that people have already posted that have mm-hmm. gone there yep looks really cool yep i'm big to it chris tiny package over with the uh characters there I, I have a question pete i have an answer 12. does does uh oh. does does jasmine know Six. that aladdin's stepping out on her because when he gets back from brunch and hanging out with these other princesses there may be some questions there could be questions. That's a good. That's a good question for you to ask. Maybe when you're down there, and you should go to 1900 Park Fair and ask him directly. I will say the pictures I've seen of the the food here though looks really good. I, I'm I'm be kind of interested to go here. Yeah. Uh, but it's I, I still think this is a weird mixture of characters. They look cute. They look like cool interactions, but it's a weird mixture of characters. I yeah, it's kind of like they just threw a bunch of them together and said, here, let's just mix it up. We got no place for all these. Put them all in one spot. So, Angela, are you going to check out 1900 Park Fair when you're down there? I would totally go check out 1900 Park Fair. I heard that they had something on the buffet that was, like, absolutely 
awesome to try. Yeah. Um, I'm a little curious, though, as to they got Cinderella ill in her nice, fancy ball gown, but then they've got Tiana in her other outfit that's new. I can tell you why that nice is. Nice, fancy ball gown. And then they got, I, yeah, promoting the ride. Yep, exactly. Um, <laughs> exactly. 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 But I mean, it looks, it makes it look so off because then you got Aladdin who's dressed all in his nice attire. But then, hey, let's throw Maribel in there. Yeah. Who's not even a princess. No. It's just, it's a, it's a, it, uh, it's just a hodgepodge of stuff. You know, it's the, it's the melting pot of America mm -hmm. all mixed into one, uh, bringing it all together. Yes. And, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are happy because it's it's unique characters that you really don't get to see that much yet. Well, but did you uh, but do you see what it says there? It says that the characters chosen um, for the standing experience all have celebrate the power of a wish. So they've the all time. benefited from a wish that was made. So that's you know it seems like a random assortment, but I guess if they say that. They're celebrating the power of a wish. I guess that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's a great catch. Great catch. So I guess that's how it all ties in. I'd have been really happy if I saw Labu there with Aladdin. That would have made my day. Be... If there was a monkey running around that place. Maybe they can you know get what Ross was funny? some friends. Um, Katie Y <laughs> made the comment that um, when she looks at Aladdin, all she can see is Jojo. <laughs> Oh, that's a good comment. <laughs> mm -hmm. There and then there are a few people that that have agreed with her on that. So, this Aladdin been, will always yeah. be JoJo. That would have been great. That would have been great. You never know. One day maybe he'll pop. It's up not wrong. Him. Not wrong. This is pretty cool. This is a new Disney sketch performance hoodie by Roosevelt's, and this is uh to celebrate the 100th anniversary with sketches of beloved characters, and it features a pattern. There's so many in here. And I'm going to try to do this in one breath if I can. Mickey Mouse, Cinderella, Peter Pan, Simba, Genie, Cheshire Cat, Ariel, Pongo, uh, Perdita, per Perdita, uh, Evil Queen as the Old Hag, Robin Hood, uh, J. Thaddeus, uh, Todd, Lumiere, Cogsworth, Ka, Boo Baloo, King Louie, uh, and Mashu, Mashu Mushi. Uh, all in good. Mushu. Oh, I'm trying, yeah, Mushu. I'm trying to do this all fine. Small Mushu. computer. It's tough to do. All in pencil sketch and styling form. Uh, and this is the new Roosevelt, $82. $82. Chris, you're a Roosevelt guy. What do you think? Um, so I got Roosevelt's in the mail today. Uh, <laughs> I would I, I would, I would, order this. I, I, they came out with a color version of this Oh, uh, for the shirts. And I like the sketch version, the black and white sketch version, much better. This, this is cool. It's available on Shop Disney right now. And uh, this is uh, a unisex, as they say on there. So it can go for ladies or men. I'll go to the ladies. Tina, what do you think? I like it. I would get it. It looks so cool. Okay. Would you try to color them in? Probably. Okay. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I was just yeah. thinking, like... <laughs> I would need to get fabric markers, and but would I be able to get all of the colors that I'd want to use? I was yeah. just thinking that. If you went outside the lines, it would be expensive to buy another one to kind of restart again. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, something. Angela, what do you think? I like it. I like it. That looks pretty cool. And it's found on the Disney Store as well. A lot of stuff. Uh, they're really pumping up the Disney store lately. This was something unique, I thought, that uh, I saw over on Etsy. Happy Place Designs for you, Etsy, for $38. It's a Walt Disney World countdown clock. Clock, count down your next Disney vacation. Uh, what do you think there, Tina? You're going to count down your vacation here? I love that. So I'm an old school girl. I like writing things down. I, I hate doing things on apps. I Grocery lists, write them down. I would love to have this sitting on my desk or sitting behind me and just be able to look at this and not have to look at my phone and go into an app and look at it. Just have it right there on my desk. Okay. Oh. Angela? Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I think it's kind of cool. And it's something you could also just like set on your desk and you can just like look at it and be like, oh, hey, I just have that much longer until 
a, a Disney vacation. Yeah, the countdown does it does help to make it slowly but surely go away, Chris. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, this I sent that to you, Pete, just in case you want to show I'm the color. To, I'm gonna try to. I'm trying to bring it up right now. Uh, the this is cool. Yeah, this would be something to. to I mean, um, this this would save you having to go into that, but it would be something cool to have like on your desk at work or or something like that. That would keep you motivated while you're at work that you're at work so you can get to that date and time and all that so that'd be cool okay good point. 28 was it 38 bucks that's not bad 38 bucks yep jen what do you think i like it i like it a lot um i like that they use the water tower as the symbol for um hollywood studios hollywood. it yeah, seems like cool. they you know that's more like old school, like MGM Studios type thing. I, I like that better than them using the Tower of Terror as the icon for that park. But yeah. I like this because it's not like a manual thing that you have to remember about updating. And it'll, you know, you don't always have to, you know, like you guys said, look at your phone. You could just put it out, glance at it, and be on your way. So, you're on your way right there. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So I like it's, it. it's, it's a powerful driver. Chris sent me over this, guys, if you wanted to see the color version of this shirt. There you go right there. Sorry, Chris, it's above covering you and Angela and Tina. No, right. There you go, if you want to talk about that oh. for a second. So, so that's the. So that's you what that get, looks I like? You, that's what it looks like in the color. And Roosevelt's oh. website, I think, even has the hoodie version of this, too. Uh, but the black and white is... One yeah. shop Disney has. Absolutely. I just think it's so cool that Lance up and the first ones that I see are the Sorcerer Mickey, Mr. Toad, and I believe that to be Cinderella right below Mr. Toad. Yes. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm right to you. I think that's and the Cheshire oh, Cat. It's calling me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's calling me. I may mm-hmm. or may I may or may not have that shirt. Yep. The, and the they shirt, do have $70. that in a women's Jen. Mm. Cool. So, on Roosevelt site. They do have them in one. Cool. There you go. There you go. All right. Jump over here. We're moving right along tonight. Uh, here, let's talk about this. There's an Enchanting Fantasyland Tumblr and T-shirt spotted at Magic Kingdom recently. Uh, of course, it's uh, the whimsical version of Fantasyland right there. And... Um, uh, we'll come back up to that in just a second. So uh, the, the, uh, the Tumblr right there has Small World with uh, Dumbo flying over it, uh, looks like, and um, and the Fantasyland logo down down the side there. So let's start with uh, Jen. What do you think? Of course you call on me when I'm in the middle of a cough. <laughs> oh, sorry. I can go back. It's okay. Um, <laughs> that looks like Small World on there. Is that like Small World, the that's building? What, that's what it looks like to me with Dumbo over top. Very cool. Yeah. I like that. The softer colors are that. unique. I like those. Chris, what are you thinking? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, I would like that. I wonder how much that is because I, would, I like that cup. I we would. Get I would use that. I would use that cup. I'm betting that's around forty dollars. I'm thinking when I was looking at it. So, Angela, what do you think? I like it. I like the coloring that they used for it, and I like the fact that they it's kind of got that Mary Blair style to it mm-hmm. to also get that small world feel. Mm-hmm. I agree. So, yeah, I, agree. I, I, I like it. Tina, would you buy the tumbler? I would. I like it. It's really pretty. Mm-hmm. It's not a two-handed tumbler, though. Um. No, it has girth. I like girth. Okay. Well, if you like girth, uh, I, I don't know how to transition. Here's a shirt. What do you think of the shirt? I have no transition there. Uh, here's I totally shirt. Don't you. Filmed with whimsy and enchantment. What do you think of the shirt? Or me? Or someone yes. else? Tina, go right back. Go the other way. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, I like it. I'm not a huge fan of the color shirt. I would have liked it, liked it if it was like a black shirt. I'm not okay. a huge fan of gray shirts. But here we go again with me and the black shirts. I like black shirts. But it, the, the graphic is pretty. I like the graphic. Graphics are nice. Hey, we got uh, 50, 66 likes on the board. 50-some people in here now. If you haven't hit the like already, let's get this stream up to 100 likes. Angela, what do you think of this Fantasyland shirt? 
I like it. It looks really cute. Um, I like just how it's like drawn on there. It's just really awesome. So, and I do like the fact it's not white. It's not a white no. shirt. Yeah. So I don't feel guilty if I get it dirty. Yeah, you can get it dirty. That's for sure with this. You don't have to worry about that. So, Chris? Oh, I'm all about some fantasy land. So, yes. Um, <laughs> I, I like it. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it would go well while I'm wearing or drinking out of the cup. So, there you go. Okay. Park Bros, welcome in. Jen, your thoughts or the chat? Um, yeah, I, I might wear that. Um, but I think it needs something like it needs some glitter or sparkle or something. I think, I don't know. Okay. Good call. I would, I would say that, um, you know, there's some comments in the chat that, um, they don't really care for the fact that the shirt is gray, but they like the, the design on it. So. Okay. Well, Gray shirts, uh, maybe people looking for a little color, Disney. Keep in mind. Uh, here we go. New Disney Disability Access Service launching at Disney World and Disneyland. Uh, here, in case you've missed out on it, we're gonna we're gonna jump right into this here. Uh, so here's the breakdown with the key updates that are coming soon. Enchanted, Enchanted cast member training. Disney is investing in specialized training for cast members at both resorts. This will allow them to better understand individual needs and recommend the most suitable tools and options to create a magical visit. Expert collaboration to ensure accommodations are used as intended. Disney is partnering with healthcare professionals from Inspire Health Alliance. These experts will offer additional support to cast members to determine eligibility of ver for various services. Preserving DAS, the popular disability service DAS program remains a priority, however, to ensure it reaches those who most need it. The DOS teams will ensure the primarily ensure the primarily focus on the guests with developmental disabilities such as autism, who finds the word waiting into tradition in traditional lines challenging. To further support this focus, the DOS enrollment window will be extended to 120 days from 60, which is kind of nice. The DOS party size has been adjusted down four from six. So tell me what you're thinking. Uh, Chris, I'm gonna start with you because I know you and I went on stuff and that would be good. Um, this, this, I, so how do I want to start this? Uh, I think Disney realized there was an abuse of the current system. Uh, I think this is their, their choice to address some of that. Um, I found it also interesting that they that it's come out that uh, if they find out that you're lying on your application or it was untruthful that you are subject to being banned from the parks. I do like that. Um. So yeah, I, it, it's this is this is gonna I think upset some people uh, and make some other people happy. Uh, it's one of those things where you can't please everybody. Uh, but I think some of the people that, that they're still targeting to use this service are people that should be able to get access to this service. Absolutely. And uh, Mary T. Wells, welcome in. She says, I think they've had too much abuse. They have had a bunch of abuse over time. Mm -hmm. It's been uh, quantified when they caught all those people that were using the DOS system that were... Um, kind of guiding doing the guided tours the mm -hmm. illegal guiding tours is where this really came to envision uh, well, there, Angela, i'm sorry go ahead chris there were people that were telling people what to call in and say what keywords to call in and say just to get eligibility for yeah absolutely calls. angela mm -hmm. what do you think mm -hmm. So it, this is definitely a sign that of, you know, the fact that people were like highly, highly abusing the DOS system. Um, the crackdown was needed, is needed. Um, I just hope that this isn't making it 
that much harder for people who absolutely need to be in DAS. And hopefully it doesn't help, it doesn't prevent them from being able to get into the DOS. Okay. Tina? Um, so I've never, you know, needed a DOS pass because Jason will typically just stand in line with the kids. And if it's too long of a wait to stand, he'll go and move on to something else that's not as long to stand, you know that doesn't have a long wait time. So I don't have too much experience, but it sounds like um, this is gonna be a good thing because when you have too many people abusing the system, what's the point of the DOS pass if you're having to stand in, you know, still a long line, even if you get a call back, right? Or you get mm -hmm. a certain time, you know, so many people get that same exact time because the pocket is so saturated, you know, what that def defeats the purpose, right? Getting that correctly? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. They're also going through the lightning lane lines, which tend to back up. So it's. Right. Yeah. Uh, Sounds Jen. like they're trying to get their ducks in a row. Yep. Jen. I hope that by implementing this, um, they have really done their research and have figured out, out a way to cut out the people who are taking advantage of the system without hindering the people who genuinely really do need the system. I hope that this is also something that is a work in progress and that they, you know, maybe they want to start with these guidelines, but hopefully it won't take them too long to realize that it's not a clear cut and dry box you can check off for each person. You really have to look at each person's case individually and make a decision. Um, I just hope there's a way that they can do this so that maybe one person who is denied um, for their reason, then another person comes with that same situation, but they're approved just because of maybe the medical person that they talk to will approve them. I, I don't know that it's just a bunch of check boxes that you can mm -hmm. check off because everybody's situation is so different. It, it, am I making sense? I don't, I, I don't know. No, I also don't take making, advantage of the DAS system. Yeah. You're making complete sense. I would agree there. So I'll say the current DOS system is a headache to try to go through. Um, and but isn't that kind of good in a way, Chris? It is good. Like, are you saying, you know, like, like, from, are you saying from an operational standpoint or from a fundamental standpoint? From an operational trying to get approved for it standpoint. Okay. Um, as far as if, if you do it at home and do it online via the old system, it, it, it could take you a couple of days to try to get through to somebody. Um, Absolutely. And I think that was because it was being so heavily abused. People were, were just, it was anyway. Um, Welcome in Donnie land. Yeah. Uh, but, but people that truly should get this service. Um, I agree, Jen, they shouldn't have more of a headache or more of a, a, more trouble getting approved for this and mm -hmm. it's not a one size fits all type issue to qualify for this i don't think well, um, the other thing i have it, a real problem with oh i'm sorry because i mean an interrupt but the other thing that i have a problem with is if you have to disclose um medical diagnoses um isn't that personal information uh, yeah they said that they would not require like medical documents or anything like that. Um, but so I, I feel like the DOS should be available. It, it's focused heavily here. And in a lot of the, the, the talk that I've heard about this is that it's focused heavily towards, um, individuals with autism, uh, and, and, issues like that um they were trying to move this away from uh 
people that were just in a scooter or wheelchair but could transition without any assistance to a vehicle and that sort of thing. Uh, they were trying to move away from that or to prevent that uh, that abuse that they, they claim. Um, but this shouldn't be just a autism or just a developmental type issue. Uh, if you have trouble transitioning, um, you should not have more of a headache to get approved for this. In, in my belief. But, um, most of the, I will say this, most of Disney world's line queues and everything are access, access mm -hmm. designed for access vehicles. So like the ECVs and stuff, they're designed to be able to do that. So if people can transfer from their ECVs in with no, not much problem, then yeah. it shouldn't be that big of an issue because most of the lines are. If you get to a ride, always ask the person at the beginning of the line. If it's not one of the rides, especially if it's an older ride, that's not exactly conducive, like, um, jungle cruise they'll give you a return time if you've got an ecv yeah um uh i will say so i'll, I'll just be up front i i have used the dos before we have used the dos before uh, with that and everything and there were times when going in to apply for the dos through the older current system or i guess until I would sit here on hold waiting for a representative for eight or more hours. Just waiting for someone to come online to review the application and then decide whether or not it was approved. Um, this, I hope the changes they make will, will help the people that truly deserve it, not have to go through all that, but I think this is just wanna gonna take time, like you said, Jen. I think A, it's gonna take them time to learn the new system. And then B, as with most things that, that get implemented like this, after they do it for a few months, there's usually an adjustment or a you know, they, they have to they see things that they need to improve, that sort of thing. So um I, I yeah. I, I don't know what else to say here, Pete, but yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a big change and it's going to inconvenience a lot of people. Um, but I hope it, it stops some of the abuse, but we'll see. Yeah. All right. Good deal. All right. We'll jump onto this new Disney lollipop collection coming soon. Uh, April the 16th, the new lollipop stitch, uh, is coming, uh, to the market and it'll be exciting. Uh, with a sweet treat, uh, you see Stitch up there uh, with his uh, lovely lady. Uh, you're also going to have April the 16th. It's going to be one of the new pin sets uh, to go along with it, with the Stitch collection, with the with the lollipops uh, that they're uh, featuring on this new collection. And uh, it will also include lollipop ears, lollipop ears, which I thought were kind of cool. Again, no prices have been put out that I could find uh yet on this and then there is your spirit jersey that will be available with the stitch lollipops down the bottom and the very colorful walt disney world this is the obviously one from florida walt disney world across the back of the jersey and then you got the backpack the lounge fly uh that will also t there's a you can have a whole ensemble of stitch and lollipops and candy and goodness uh in your world uh, let's start left to right. Jen, what do you think of the lollipop connection collection? I think it's very cute. Very cute. I love the color scheme. I love the design. I love the ears. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I think they, they did good with this one. I like that one. Chris. Yep. The, uh, the two plush and the pins are currently available on shop Dis or Disney store shop. I still call it shop Disney. The pins are thirty four ninety nine. The plush are twenty nine ninety nine. Um, you get ten dollars off That's when you buy Stitch and Angel together. 
Um, yeah, I, I don't know. They don't have the other items available on Shop Disney okay. right now, but uh, I like these. These are cute. I, I've been more impressed with this Stitch series than, than the past one. So, yeah, I like these. These are cute. Okay. Angela? These are really cute. They've actually been doing really good with this this uh, Stitch Snacks mm-hmm. collection that they've been doing. But yeah, these are these are really cute. Okay, Tina. Yeah, I like them too. Um, I'm not a huge huge Stitch fan, but I think this entire line is adorable. The colors are spot on. So yeah, yeah they like they it. pop for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right, here's our first look at the Frog Musicians. More characters coming to Tiana. Uh, these are the Frog Musicians. I'll start with Chris and go uh, right to left on this one just because uh, by the time Jen sat through this whole thing, she'll really have something good to say. Uh, let's start out with this first one, Mondo the Frog. Mondo is a natural <laughs> con- Congo drum player. Mondo the Drug, which uh, he made with a happy accident when his favorite bottle cap got stuck on his second favorite acorn. So bottle caps on acorns, Chris Mondo, the frog. Uh, I see this. I'm trying to pull something up. Uh, I see this and all I can think of is, um, it is the old 1995 super bowl commercial. Of the oh, Budweiser. The fr- Budweiser. Frog. Budweiser. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. What? Sir. So, I remember that. Welcome yeah. into Noah. These frogs are riveting. Uh, this this frog's got a little bit of size on the other ones. He could be, he's mm-hmm. a larger frog. He's a king frog, I believe. Oh, and the bongos. Okay, okay, good, Chris. I like that, Angela. There's Isabel, the green tree frog. She's learning from Mondo's example. Isabel loves to get lost to the music playing her congas. What do you think of Isabel there? She's she's definitely hopped up on something. So <laughs> she looks like she's all raring to go. Yeah, she's she's definitely fired up. She's fired up. Tina, you got uh, Myra the frog. She's going to blow on a horn. This flower blossom likes to trumpet. That might be Neil. Maybe that's Neil. Uh, you know, that's what she does. What do you think of the trumpeting frog? Uh, she's right up my alley. I like to blow on horns, too. But um, I will say I don't know why they are putting new characters in. If it's going to allude to maybe a sequel then I'm down for it. But why put new characters in the ride is boggling my mind. And I'm kind of not with it. I'm not on board with it. I, I'm going to be a it's Debbie more, Downer for a second. More merch to sell to you. You I might guess. want to Myra the Frog shirt that you didn't want two days ago. Bud. I would have waited through the whole thing if you wanted to play it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Jen, Isabel the Green Tree Frog, she's learning from Mondo's example. <clears throat> Isabel loves getting lost in the music playing on her congas. Okay. So, how many new characters are there now? I've lost count. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I have lost many. count. And why, does the, why do there need to be so many? And why do we need every single freaking type of frog that was ever created? Why do we need a backstory on every single one of these? <laughs> We're going to be riding through You're this ride with wrong. it in, in three minutes. I d- I'm not going to care that that's Bud, that's Sally, that's Izzy. That's, I, it, those are the frogs. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Okay. That you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Like, this is all done because Angela Minta wrote a letter asking for the frogs to all be named, and now this has all happened. No, no. I'm just blaming. No. I'm just blaming Peanut. Okay, it's we'll peanut. play Peanut. Yes, that's where we need to put the blame. Yeah. You say she's playing the conga. Everybody, come on, let's go do the conga. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, conga. Is there another frog? Like, are you going to flip the next screen and there's another freaking frog? No, okay, there's good. a figment. No, that's there's it. A figment. No All frogs. right, good. <laughs> figment ain't the last frog. <laughs> figment ain't the last frog. Annual pass orders 
receive a limited time discount for the DisneyStore.com Disney during pass holder days. So during pass holder days, you could go on to the website May 5th to the 24th if you're a pass holder and you can get a discount on your shoppable items, including all the frog shirts. If you'd like to get them all at one time, say use it all, get your discount, maximize it out. Glad Disney is doing that. Here's your lounge. We were talking about this earlier. It's coming to the restaurant Marrakesh uh, in the Morocco Pavilion at Epcot. Dates are June May 1st to June 18th, noon to 8 daily. Uh, you'll be able to go over there and uh, relax and kick back. You'll be able to uh, chill in the air-conditioned area, enjoy some complimentary snacks and water, listen to Diz Our Dream complain about things going on in the park, Ch charge your mobile devices, and pick up a complimentary pass holder button. That would be good. Hey, Dave Averino, good to see you. So uh, I think these pass holder lounges are going to be pretty good. Tina, you, that'd be pretty good. I think people are going to like these. A little bit more to it there. Yeah. I, I think so. It's always good to have a place to escape. Mm -hmm. A, the crowds. B, the heat. Yeah, um, absolutely. It's good to be a pass holder, although I'm not, but if you are. Yeah, it'll be good. Uh, Angela, guest room refurbishments at Disney Port Orleans Resort have started. They begin next month through November. So if you're planning to go down... And stay in Port Orleans. Be prepared to have some slow days going on as they renovate the rooms. You're not staying down there, are you? I, I guess it's a good thing. When I was looking, I was looking at Riverside and not French Quarter. So. Ah, okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. That's a good thing there. I, I usually try to stay up when I'm down there. So. Okay. Good deal. Just got Disney. Welcome in. Uh, Dad Builds. New sign. Construction update for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Uh, you see the new sign. It says main entrance. And you got Tiana's uh, logo up top there. Uh, coming to Magic Kingdom. It's already started. They're starting to paint the building and all kind of new stuff down there. Yep. Um, don't even look like the same building anymore that, that used to have the great big Splash Mountain logo on it. But, Yeah. Uh, it, it looks colorful. I like it. It's interesting. I listen, we, we, I, I, we gave, we gave the characters, uh, uh, some, some hate here. I'll be honest. I'm looking forward to ride this ride. I want to see the ride, the animatronics and all look amazing. They've done a lot of work on this ride. Am I sad that, that my, the ride of my childhood is gone? Yes. Uh, but I'm excited to ride this and, and that looks cool. I like the, the painting and everything. It, it looks fresh and updated what they're aiming for. And yeah, uh, I think this is going to open much sooner than, than we expect though, Pete, for, I do too. for previews and everything. Yeah. I think they want to get it going as quickly as they can. Welcome in Patrick, Julian. Jen, you're shaking your head. Are you not excited that they let the alligator from Tiana's Bayou eat the, eat Br'er Rabbit before the ride goes on. First, I would like to clarify: I am not against frogs. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I am not against any of the cute little animals that they're going to be putting in this ride. I am against how they are giving them identities and backstories, and I. I it I seems like, like we've covered that for three news. weeks now. That's I feel like they're creating you. news, okay? Like, that's how I feel right now. Like, every day, they need to come up with something else that they want to shove down my throat about Tiana's Bayou Adventure opening. Okay? And yes, this is a rant, and I know it's probably going to be an unpopular opinion. We don't need 30 new characters with backstories just so you have something else to post every other day to remind us that Tiana's Bayou is coming. No. I don't need to know that you painted a building. Just open the damn ride and I'm sorry, zip slip. But <laughs> I'm just, I'm ranting right now. <laughs> I'll, let me do something to help you. Are you channeling your no. inner Dave? Please, that is not. And I know, okay, I know Mike Wheeler says, okay, all characters have backstories. I get that, okay? But I just think it's a little excessive. I don't think we need 30 characters with backstories for one ride. I, 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 I agree. Here's the thing. You know, when you, when you, you rode through Splash Mountain, you knew Br'er Bear, Br'er Fox, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Br'er, whatever. 
you didn't need to know the name and backstory for every little bird singing or every little bumblebee down in the when you go down the the thing you know that bit that hill in the you know which one i'm talking about with the bumblebees we didn't need to know each of their names and where they came from and where they're going and who they're related to i'm sorry i just i think this is a ploy just to drum up some media and possibly sell more merch and i'm just not for it that's i need to know the back i need to know the backstory on the goat on top of the peak at big thunder please i need to know that backstory And that's the bottom line, because Molly said so. There you go. There you have it. Although I, I did like getting texted by the crows right before I went down. They would send me a text and give me a, a little bit of story of what they've done for the day. So I miss that. Oh, so next week when we come on the show, we'll probably have uh, brand new caterpillars that are appearing in Tiana's <laughs> Bayou out in the in the uh, walkway as you walk. Live caterpillars. They're going to have them out there, and we'll get names and a backstory of. Uh, where they were groomed and birthed and all that kind of stuff. So I can't That'll, wait to hear Molly Grant minute. next week. Oh, it'll be great. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before we go on, what? I want to make a note of Spaceship Ears' comment. Which is? He was replying to Stacy Rogers. Stacy says maybe the backstories will make sense once the ride opens. Okay, maybe. But Spaceship Ears says the ride is about Tiana trying to find an ingredient. Why do, do each of these characters that they're introducing to us have an ingredient maybe they'll be the making frog stew <laughs> <laughs> and just like that see i am now ranting and i bring brandy and dave i summoned brandy and dave in he felt the rant and he needed to come out yeah, so. yeah i have a question is, <laughs> is, brandy and dave. am i am i facing, there was a rant on, happening I, I have a question am i facing legal liability from you because she's ranting and she didn't ask permission by you <laughs> well, we can talk about that as well. <laughs> okay. I kind of, I, I kind of have filed for a patent and trademark on the rants in the Disney community. Yes, so. I thought. I, I was just making sure because I didn't want to be liable. Yeah, you're fine. Have you? Are you aware there's 19 new frogs? Uh, I didn't know the actual number. I didn't know that there was um, uh, at least. 17 frogs. Yeah, there you go. Not 19. <laughs> there you go. It was, it, they're all named after the seven dwarfs, the the seven oh. sisters, and the Pleiades. That's 14. And another five. I think it's the first five Star Wars movies. And, and Shep, so there's 20. There's 20. There you go. So Shep does have his own. Yes. All right. Good to check. I just want to check in and make sure. Has anybody yeah, tried to milk these frogs? Play some, play, play some more uh, rock highlights from, from the weekend. For more rock highlights for the weekend? I'll gladly do that for you. Call Steve, too. Okay, bye. Later. <laughs> Dave, Brandy, and Dave, if you're not following them, you should be. This and that on Wednesday nights. Dave, Brandy, and Dave on his channel. Somebody could drop those <laughs> links in for Dave. Uh, so that it did. Uh, your, her ranting brought Dave out. I think somewhere he was laying in bed and he went, huh? Whoa, and he had to get up and figure out where it was. <laughs> so, <laughs> rant happening. Rant is happening. <laughs> I have to say though, now that now that I feel like I've done a full rant, it feels good. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Good. Way to go, Dave. Way to go, Dave. Yeah, it felt Dave. good to get it on. You understand Dave a little better now, don't you? I do, I do, and I also channeled. I channeled my inner zip, having that zip slip. Sorry, but you know, that is where they get the green milk over in Galaxy's Edge from, though. They milk the frogs, so that, they milk that's, the frogs. Oh, that's, that's why it tastes like grass. Oh, maybe that's, that's why that, I don't like the green milk. That 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 was part of the contract that the frogs signed to get their milk was that they had to appear in a ride, so they put them in Tiana's ride. How do you milk a frog? You got your hands got to be really it's, small. Trust me, it gets slimy. Something yeah. tells me it's very <laughs> difficult. I would think so. Not you just would, about you anything know. these days. Uh, well, you can excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tina. All right, I'm going over to Disney's Wish. Disney's Wish, Chris, earned thir earned thirteen point two million 
streaming views in its first week over on Disney Plus. <laughs> What, what, what am I missing? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I start coughing when I laugh. <laughs> I gotta mute. Um, this is like completely broken right now. At this though, I'm gonna take a quick channel break, and I'm gonna go over here. Uh, real quick, because I've obviously <laughs> lost completely control of everything going on. And I'm going to go over here and talk about this. Pink Pam is coming to the channel, everybody. Pink Pam, if you don't know her, you should. Pink Pam 86, great streamer from Florida. She will be here on Sunday night at 6 o'clock with these three ladies, if I still allow Tina to get Debbie Bernfeld to say things like that again. Uh, it is going to be a good time here on Sunday night. An amazing, amazing interview. Please. Somebody dropped a link in there for Sunday night. Go in and hit that reminder. This is another incredible creator. Back to back. Jennifer Caruso last Sunday. Pink Pam this Sunday. Six o'clock. I want to see a full house in here. Banging these doors out for Pink Pam. And I am really, I am over the chart excited for this. Terry Harden Jackson is coming to the channel. Terry Harden Jackson is coming to the channel. Now I'm up here on the screen right now because I'm going to shoot with you for a minute and be straightforward. This is the first time on my channel in three years coming up of Preston and I having this channel that we were able to accomplish a small goal that I set coming out of that uh, hospital, one foot in a grave, and I started this thing with Preston. I said, someday I want to interview an Imagineer. Well, Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, Jennifer and I are going to interview an Imagineer. For the first time on this channel, it's not just anyone. It is an iconic, well-respected Disney Imagineer. Everybody I've talked to has gone crazy. She had her hands on Splash Mountain, Muppet Vision 3D, Star Wars, Big Thunder Mountain. She was the puppeteer inside of that puppet, the the K9 for Ghostbusters. She worked with Jim Henson's Muppeteers and the Jim Henson Company for 30 years. This is huge. And here's why it's even bigger. We have put in a request to interview Bob Gurr. And one of the requirements they came back was, was to send them a couple of our interviews, not just for style and how we do it, but they want to see how many people are watching. There's 70 some people in this chat right now. If you give one, I'm going to be straightforward with you. If you give one hell of a lick about anything I do here on this channel, if you've appreciated anything we do, if you give one hair off of a goat's back about anything that I do on this channel, please come in Tuesday night and help us out. They've got two interviews that they're going to watch to see how we did, Jennifer and I. And we've got one heck, I want to say even stronger words, but I'm going to stay with heck, of an interview written. They're going to come and they're going to watch this one, and then they're going to come behind it a couple weeks later and they're going to watch this one, Chris Crump. And they're going to see what we do and see what type of viewing we have. So I'm asking you, please, Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, come in, see Terry Harden Jackson, hear about the fact that she was good friends with Michael Jackson because of Captain EO, hear about all the things that are going on, and join us right here because this is huge for the channel, huge for our community, and I can't stress enough. I'm, I'm only, I, I can't get down to my hands and knees because I'm a damn triple amputee. But if I could, I would on camera get to my hands and knees and say, I want to interview Bob Gurr. I want to have that opportunity for Jen, for myself, for this community, for everybody that loves loves it. But in order to get there, I need your help, and I can't do it alone. So I'm asking. Jen, I know you're excited about this uh, this interview as well. You're muted there. <clears throat> I was coughing because I was laughing so hard. Um, I am so excited about this interview. I've been doing lots of research um, on Terry Harden and things that she's done. She has a great YouTube channel and I would even like to suggest to anyone here, if you'd like to get a taste for her, go ahead and watch some of the videos she has on her YouTube channel. She does live streams herself and she does vlogs and she is so funny. And the people, the name dropping that she has, like, it, like, it's just no big thing. I mean, I have thoroughly enjoyed watching some of those videos 
to get ready for the interview. So I, I can't emphasize enough how how great it's going to be just to hear her mm -hmm. talk. Welcome in. Thank not you, just not just not just listing out everything she's accomplished and everything she's done, but hearing her way of talking and her way of telling the story, I think mm -hmm. is what's going to make the interview over the top. Absolutely. Welcome into David T. Welcome in Mar Memphis. Welcome in Dave Strong. Chris, I know history and Disney is very important in, in to you. You're extremely knowledgeable uh, about it. And I know you know how important not only it will be for us to interview these next two Imagineers in uh, Chris Crump and Terry Harden, but what it could mean for, for us to get down and sit down and do an interview like Jen and I do it with Bob Gurr. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, Pete, it's to piggyback sort of off what Jim was saying. You can go online and you can read things about some of these people and Wikipedia or whatever, but to hear it from them and to, to hear their, their stories straight from them, it brings it to a whole nother level and to be able to have that access to someone and, and get to spend time with someone and, and uh, learn about them directly like that. That's amazing. And um, just the history that these people are involved in. I mean, mm -hmm. her history, not just in the movies or the parks. I mean, it's all of it. And, and probably the connections she's made and, and all of that. It's amazing to learn how these people got to, where they're at now uh that's my favorite part to learn about is is their journey there so that that'll be amazing and and i'm sure chris crump's story is going to be just as amazing in his yeah. his story growing up with such a legendary father and everything and, and then coming into the business himself so it's gonna yeah, be that. incredible it's gonna be incredible thank you tony fantastic chronicles welcome in one thing that she did which we'll hear about on wednesday night is everybody's seen the talking Mickey. Chris, you remember the Mickey Mouse mm -hmm. that was the first uh, meet, meet and greet character that talked? And that, that happened, I think, in 2013. Back in the, back in the uh, early 80s, Terry was the one that constructed and put together the first talking component for the characters and presented it to Roy E. Disney herself. So we're going to we're going to get to ask her what it was like to see something mm -hmm. that she started and put together to come to fruition. There's there's just so much. And uh, mm -hmm. and and the Raleigh Crump one coming up a couple weeks behind it uh, is going to be incredible. And again, this is this is our opportunity for Jen and I to uh, to do what we're doing. And through the help of uh, people like Chris that are my my partners out here to bring some of the Disney history to our community, because I hate to say it, everybody, but. Those that know Walt Disney and have worked with Walt Disney, uh, they're they're going quick. That time that time span mm -hmm. on this earth exactly. is is leaving us. And once it's they're like, gone, they're gone. It's like World War II vets. I mean, we we keep losing them. Yeah. And you're going to lose that personal history and those personal stories. And getting this interaction and getting getting to talk with these people is is amazing to get that documented and mm -hmm. find so out. So I'm doing a. door just open okay i'm good sorry i heard i heard it only took a second to hear my door open but i, I didn't know the, it's amber um come in these ladies that are on the screen work very hard hey wood good to see you uh these ladies that, that are on the screen work very say hi to everybody wood hey amber hey um, amber hi. thank you sweetie these ladies work very hard on the Sunday show. Pink Pam is going to be an incredible interview Sunday at 6 o'clock. Join us. Uh, if you can't make it, put it on your reminder. Hit the reminder and check out the replay. Leave a comment on it. You won't be, you won't be disappointed with these two. There are going to be some, some great ones coming up. I need to get off this uh, Tiana thing here because I don't need anybody killing. So let's go back over here to the whoosh. Chris, 13 million streaming views this week it's been incredible i want to watch this movie i haven't i haven't watched this one yet and i didn't realize until a couple of days ago that it was on wish now or on disney plus now uh i i've heard several people that saw it when it was in theaters really liked it um i'm interested to see it i mean it, it, the animation and all looks really good for it but 
Yeah, that, that's pretty good numbers for the first week of streaming. It is. Huh. Jen, is, Jen, is it me or does the villain look like uh, Richard Blumenchiza with like extra hair? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, am I not wrong here? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Blumenchiza. So. Is his lair in a bathroom sitting on the toilet too? Uh, that's hidden in the background. It's a green screen. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's a green screen. John Day at the Parks. Hello, my friend. Welcome in. Hey, John. Uh, here. All right. Uh, Angela, let's go over here to this for you. There's a super cute Lion King spirit jersey spotted at Magic Kingdom. I don't know if you saw this. Eighty four ninety nine. Jumped up in price a little bit, but it does have the iconic scene in front of the sun with the characters walking. I love this on the back. I think this is cool. Uh, what do you think? really like it but i'm sorry you're starting to outprice your spirit jerseys way too much i, I uh, yeah i love a spirit jersey i am not gonna pay that much for it 85 dollars is a lot i'm gonna scoot through these last couple of things because i'm coming up on the other clock yeah chris good that might be the first spirit jersey that i would buy, buy to wear myself i don't know why but i really oh. like that spirit jersey there you go. We finally found one. I like one. it a lot. I just, they're so, starting to get way too expensive. $85 nut is uh, is something to, to hang on. Jan, I'm coming to you for this one. Uh, Pascal earrings by Bubble Bar for the first best, for the best style ever. Look, Angela's going crazy. I want them. Mm -hmm. uh, these are available for $50 in the Disney store. I will never pass up a Bubble Bar. So, yes, please. I'll buy them. Yes. There you go. Bobble bars galore. Angela, you like these? Yes. yes I do. I'm not sure what gave it away, but yeah, I do. <laughs> the high fiving yourself in the in your screen there, that might have done it. You know, so What's Chris funny is I, I sent I sent Snickerdoodle the link for these to about 15 minutes ago on Talk <laughs> Disney's. There you go. I, I was pre-leading everything out. We got 87 likes right now on the board. There's 80 people in here. Is there 13 people that could bless us tonight with a simple like that's free to do to put this video over 100? I would really appreciate it. Tina, check out this bag, new lounge fly. I, I have no pricing uh, for the lounge fly or the wallet, but it is Ashoka and Grogu together. A uh, brand new one coming out soon. What do you think? Um, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with Ahsoka, um, Grogu, yes, but I know a certain Joy, uh, S who loves Ahsoka that might be all over this, so don't show her, but it's cute. Don't get me wrong. It's cute. I think it's nice. A good, great detail on the front of the bag. Really great detail <laughs> on the front Matching of the bag. Matching wallet to go with it. That's always mm -hmm. a bonus because, yep. yeah. Yep. 93 likes. We're seven away. Yes, Chris. The bag is eighty dollars. The wallet is forty, like a normal lounge fly. I love how I love how our friends at Chip and Co can't find any prices, but you've got them in seconds, and I thank you for that. <laughs> thank Sorry. you. I thank you. No, I thank you for that. Truly, so that adds a lot to the show. Thank you very much, Alice. You're the welcome. Queen of Hearts will return to Wonderland for the wild new show at Walt Disney Studios Park. This is over in Paris, everybody. Uh, starting May twenty fifth. This is. Uh, looks kind of wild. I hope that our friend uh, Nick gets over there and we get lucky enough to get a video sent here to this to our channel on this because this looks kind of fun and exciting. Uh, does it make you want to go to Paris, Tina? Um, everything makes me want to go to Paris. Yeah. Okay. All right. I like cool. Good deal, good deal. Uh, check this out, Angela. Disneyland Paris to rename Walt Disney Studios to Disney Adventure World. Brand new name, brand new logo. That's going to be kind of cool. This is coming up for the 32nd anniversary, which will be happening this year. Yeah, I noticed that they're doing a lot of uh, stuff over in Disneyland Paris to get ready for their next celebration, I guess. Yeah. Um, so. Should be pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm happy with it. Stephanie, yeah. Kale, welcome in. They've got to keep refreshing things over there. You know. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to uh, to expand, so they got to do uh, what they got to do refreshes where they can. Yep. In an effort to get Jen really fired up and ticked off, they've renamed to uh, this new Critter Co-op over at Tiana's Bayou, where you can buy all the shirts of all the frogs and every other thing. This is the new uh, new signage that just went up uh, just today for the Critter Co-op. 
uh, in the repurposed Brayer patch. So, uh, Chris, what do you think of that? I, I saw this news. That's cute. Uh, this is probably where you can buy all the plushes for all the characters that we now have the backstories to. I don't think so, that building's big enough. Uh, probably not. <laughs> but there you go. Yep. So that's something there. Brand new, brand new signage up there. Uh, Jen, there's a new, uh, new collection debuting at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We always love when we have Animal Kingdom stuff here uh, that's coming out. And so you've got uh, these new shirts that have come out, which are kind of unique uh, there. I like, uh, like up top there with the up shirt on the left-hand side, which is, is kind of cool. We've also got uh, uh, baggage there, small little cantina back, and we got the hat. We've got new patches. She must be gone, huh, buddy? Hi, Sully. You can sleep you can sleep with me tonight, bud. Uh, we've also got, um, this looks like a new water cantina and a new bag. What do you think of the new collection over there at Animal Kingdom, Jen? Um, I think it's cute. Um, <coughs> um, yeah, I have to excuse myself for a second. Do it. Let's go over to here and we'll go over to the psychedelic Alice in Wonderland. Psychedelic Alice in Wonderland. Tina, what do you think of this new collection going over there uh, that you can take a look at? We got a lot of craziness going on over here with uh, new pants, new shirt, new colors everywhere all over the place. And there. I, I mean, that's definitely psychedelic, but I don't know. It's not my cup of tea. There's, it's too, it's too much going on. It's like I get, I. The overstimulation. Overstimulation is oh. all the way through. All the way through. It is colorful. So, with that, that brings us to the end of our news tonight. Uh, and we're gonna, we're past the eleven o'clock hour. I try to stay in that two-hour window. Uh, real quick, let's go around with where we're at and uh i will uh throw it out there first chris what do you have going on tomorrow uh we'll we'll have something going on tomorrow night at 9 30 i'm not sure what yet um it may be a frog themed thumbnail i'm not sure we, we might dive more into these backstories I, I don't i don't know what we're doing tomorrow night we'll do something and have some fun doing it so, so over there and then sunday night back for your movie and uh yes yes okay Some, that'll be cool yeah that'll be cool thank you john day for your support uh coming up this weekend the big thing uh we got obviously is a triple c show on sunday night with all of these ladies uh joining us as triple c show ladies uh will be there and having a good time and doing their thing and the interview tuesday with terry that we talked about tina on your channel wednesday night whateverness coming up yep uh wednesday five o'clock it's gonna be interesting i dropped another poetry vlog a couple days ago so if anyone wants to go check that out i would love that um but yeah it's um it's gonna be interesting so there and i'll go. be well, everywhere else sunday with you and tomorrow night with chris tina if you could go grab that your poetry link or somebody can grab that and drop it in there i'd really appreciate it they're dropping the link in for tina and for the terry harden interview spaceship ears five dollar holler holler Frogs are the new hippos. Okay, well, frogs are new hippos. Um, Five dollars. Thank you, Spaceship Earth, John, for that. I want to thank my uh, partners in crime for being here tonight and doing this show with me. I thank all of you for watching us here tonight. Uh, go out, support the creators. Right now, uh, as we go out, I'll tell you to go here. Let me tell you where to go. You want somewhere good to go see? I'm gonna. Oops. I'm gonna whack the microphone. Whack the microphone here. Give me one second for this to come up. And let me see what we got. And I'll drop this link into here. Oh, it's giving me a fit. Come on, give it to me. There we go. Um, there you go. Here's a couple of channels that you could go over to tonight if you're looking for more Disney action late night. Here is the first one is Barry's Place. Tell them I sent you over there. I would love that out in California. You also have uh, Wink's Wild Ride. Wink is out in the California parks as well. Go over there and see Wink and tell him I sent you over there. And the last one I'll send you to is one you should guys all know. And that is our friends Carla and Kiko. 
Carly Kiko's Adventure. If you go over to any of these ones, check it out and uh, say hello. Tell them Pete McDivitt sent you over there. Thank you, everybody, for coming in tonight, and we will see you all real soon. Come on, Mickey. Thanks, Musketeers, for joining the party. We'll be looking for you tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye, all.